Ah, uh, welcome back, my citizens of Carthage. And guys, <laughs> I am so glad to be back in this game because I've been waiting for a, for a long time to be back in this. So, we have two things going on in our citizen of Carthage campaign. We have our African conquest and we have our Spain conquest. So right now, last episode, I was just about to declare war on the Lakewitches or the Liberians to uh, gain some of our previous land, but. After a while of thinking, you know, I thought I should probably finish off the, uh, these guys first before I, you know, start a new conquest, because it's better to cut off the heads of one enemy than start an enemy of six. You know what I mean? Just an old saying like that or something, just, it's better to finish what you started than to start something new. And over here, what we are going to be doing is just My basically... Lord. In all honesty, he's mopping up, so I don't think this is a worthy enough battle, so I'm just going to just going to go destroy them. We lost 126 men. Uh, we're going to kill all the enemies we captured, and they are dead. What a disgraceful defeat of that army that we destroyed because we had really powerful elephants. Anyways, um, I'm going to be getting... Uh, attack military for the general, and well, what should we get him for? What do I want this general to be? Authoritative. I think that would work, and I think we'll make this guy leading fleets. Negative five to mercenary cost. Uh, negative two gravatas. I think I like this better. Wait, what is this called? Floozy? <laughs> Are you serious? That's awesome! Oh, any good mercenaries to hire? No, there aren't. Okay. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's basically what I wanted to do. We wanted to finish up conquering the rest oh, of that army. Of and we wanted to start sending this army to go after you, the legendary Lord. city of. of, uh. Numanta. So, now we got that done with, we can finally. And, wait, wait, wait. Where's our ship? Where's our fleet right now? Our fleet is right here. Um. We should probably go send our fleet back, and what I mean by back, we should probably go send it back to over here because this is really where like a lot of the main struggle is going to be. Now that Syracuse is taking the islands, they're probably going to be going after Carthage next, and we want to make sure Carthage has good defenses around it. So, yeah. Anyways, continuing on, we left off. Roma, Rome is just doing whatever it wants to, and soon we will sack those pitiful Romans. And honestly, we've been, it's honestly kind of funny, we've been, in, we've been at war with these guys for like day two, and I've honestly seen no attack force from them at all, no army, no threats of warfare, no nothing. I would have expected the Romans to do something by now, but they still haven't done anything, and we're still just like, sitting here like waiting for that massive Roman attack to try to destroy the, le the legacy and the legendary city of Carthage. Which I may add, they will never do because we are the most awesome people in the world, so they'll never be able to destroy it. <laughs> and there's all these other things happening. The Nacomedes, I think, are retreating back to the capital because they realize I have a more powerful army than they do, and they realize they should not mess with me. <laughs> That's what they should know by now. But they are sending, they are sending more spies over here, so they're obviously keeping a good eye on us. But they just don't know what to do because they know they don't have enough army anymore to fight me. Because I basically destroyed all their army in major battles. So, that's really good. Syracuse, what are you guys going to do? You guys are bringing your ships over to go try to blockade Lilybillium, the city that we've rolled against you. Agents have been exposed. Agents have been exposed. Not good sign. And wow, we have a lot of agents right next to me. Sheesh. Alright, um, I'm going to move my, my soldiers a little bit. And they should reach in. So let's see, they'll reach the main city of Aquila in three turns. That would be good. Household expands. Replace wealthy spy master. Household expands. This guy has a full household. Send to the pool. Um, I don't know what that does. Oh, is it send to the pool? Yeah, let's just send him to the pool. Yeah, oh, I see. They were going to replace my general. No. No, 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 that's a pretty good general down there. Just like this guy over here, he's a pretty good general over here, so... 
yeah. So now, guys, let's check out the legendary city of this, which I'm assuming should have no man at all inside it. You, my lord. And usually when I say something like that, you almost guarantee there's going to be men inside it. So, I'm going to get some mercenaries to kind of beef up my army right before the main attack. I know I'm going to be going negative next turn, but I honestly don't expect to keep these soldiers for very long. I just need them long enough to go destroy that city right there, and then then we can start doing nationalized taxes in this region, which is going to be nice. And the Romans still have not conquered Neopolis, which I am really surprised by. I would have thought by now that the they would have just easily been able to crush everything in this path, but they've... I don't know, they seem very much set on not doing that, and these guys just somehow did something? I, I don't know, they just kind of like moved their army and then did something. I'm, I'm kind of worried. Maybe they like gotten allies, which would be really bad. And these guys are still... At, oh yeah, those guys are still at war, so they're going to still be attacking the Nalakorms and destroying the rest of their army. And then these guys, are these guys my enemy? Holy sh... Where did they get this? When did these guys become my enemy? Who are these guys? Whatever. I lost. What the... What the deuce? Like, seriously? When did those guys become my enemies? Okay, I, I'm... Uh, next next turn, I'm gonna see how many enemies I have, because that's just BS. Like, I, I just feel like I make more enemies than I ever have in any other game. Like, oh, it feels like almost instantly when you're in Carthage, you almost instantly make like 40 different enemies. Instantly. I mean, it's not even like a peace torch. You just instantly, 40 different enemies attack you. Okay. Okay, how do we handle this situation? Um, nukes! I should fight this out. But I honestly don't want to. Let's see, let's do a very protective stance. Close victory, kill all the... Yeah, what the... Okay, yeah, you see, that's why we need an army over here, because the Syracuse are starting to do more and more attacks on us. Okay, honorable death, an army destroyed, yeah. Gosh. Everything's going so wrong. Gosh, where did this... Who the heck is these guys? And to top it all off, my vassal instantly we conquered them. Wow! That was a backstab. Okay, anyways, let's go Let after this city. Our might. Where do they have these extra army? Where the. I, I'm sorry, I don't see this extra army here, so. I'm gonna assume that this is just BS. Okay, garrison army. Oh, garrison. Well, tribesmen aren't that good. So, but swordsmen are not that good. So, anyways, guys, we'll see you guys on the battlefield. Okay, so I free. So we figured it out. It wasn't that. Oh yeah, we can find dry land. It wasn't that uh, a new army had appeared. It's just that it was an army that was. Uh, yeah, it, it just basically was a yes and army. Anyways, um, we are going to be attacking these guys with our massive fleet. Um, the odds of us winning are apparently very, very slim. I don't know why. And apparently we're going to have to pull down much stuff. So let's see. <laughs> That's a very useless formation. Um, anyways, we're going to have to be doing stuff like grouping up all AI defend. Let's group up these guys into one unit. Um, let's scope all, all my all my slingers into one unit. Because we're going to be create, create formation. Yeah, there we go. And then, yeah, we're going to keep these guys with us too. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to be attacking this main city. And my main point of attack is basically just use elephants to the utmost of my ability. I mean, gosh, if I just use my elephants, I should be fine. I've seen in the past that elephants are the best unit, and I mean the best. There was no other unit in this game that could top the elephants. If 
I just do the elephants massively and use them massively against the enemy, I should be able to beat these guys no problem. And since this is close, this is close fighting, it should be the best kind of fighting for me. Because, yeah, elephants catch up, please. You guys are just walking while the rest of my troops are just... Oh, shoot. Okay, so yeah, my men, my men just like charged in instantly. And now we're trying to fire, fire, fire. Everyone run! Also run! Oh, shoot. Okay, seems like we're charging in already. Charging elephants. Okay, we're also gonna have we're also gonna have a backup charge just to make sure this all works. We're gonna have my men charge in too, and then my main elephants are going to stampede in. Um, let's do this. Let's go, man. Let's go. And it doesn't seem like this is the main body of army, but it doesn't seem like it's a lot. So let's just move in. Move in, yes, just keep pushing, plowing through, yes, and then the back elephants came in now, just keep plowing through, um, everyone keep, have two soldiers down here so that it keeps them semi-distracted, have you guys come in to go help bully these guys, we want to make sure these guys are completely and utterly cool, um, yeah, it seems like this side's collapsing pretty dang effectively, um, just get right here, Close quarters combat will pay very good attention to this, and we're just massively destroying everything. My elephants have taken half damage though, so I should probably relent on the dam on the elephant damage for a little bit. That's pretty bad. They've already taken half damage, and we haven't even begun the battle. So I'm just going to like move in right here. There's the rest of their army. I'm just going to I'm gonna move my generals to the back. Move guys, move. You guys move into the back. We don't want you guys to be anywhere near this. Um, yeah, it seems like we have most of our army coming in. And these guys, why are these flags all just like dispersing? Wait, did I just win? Oh, sure, I might have just won. Okay, why are they all dispersing? Why? What did? What just happened? Wait, why are they all dying? What? Wait. What? I I what? Uh, uh, guys, I'll be you guys on the main map. Well, um, I didn't plan this. Um, that's kind of weird. Um, anyways, loot time. I mean, what happened here? I, I, I don't know. Um, on one hand, we just had a major victory that, you know, potentially could mean a lot for us. But on the other hand, how did we achieve that victory? I mean, in all honesty, guys, I don't know. It just... They just all gave up. Right and that's not even me... You know, being like bashful or anything, they just literally all gave up. I, I I I don't even know what to think. That's never happened before in all my years of playing Rome Total War 2. I've never seen an army just like they still had like a thousand men. They just like laid down their arms and started running for me. I don't. Well. You know what, there's a, there's a saying you should not count your lemons or count your blessings or whatever you want to say, so... Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm just not going to question it. It was definitely a gift. I'm going to take it as a gift. And here comes my massively better army that's riding... Holy shoot, that's a lot of armies. Eh, I will destroy the rest of this army and make them pay. Um... Guys, I'm going to have to take care of some business though right now, so I'm going to be right back hey guys well I'm back and while I was like away for reasons that uh, basically um, I had to go eat I realized something I think before I left I said I'll be back in a little bit but when I was thinking about it, I was like wait a minute uh, this is only gonna be like maybe a second for them maybe a maybe two seconds but 
definitely not that long before they'll be instantly back with me, so... Yeah. I don't know what I meant by that, but... Okay. Anyways, um... I'm going to destroy all of these units. Disband all of these units, because... I really don't need them anymore. I have to disband them. Because now that the city is conquered... Yeah, there we go. I could keep maybe one unit allowed. But yeah, now that the main city has been conquered, it's now time to deal with this one unit right here. Which really isn't that strong, but I have really no protectors over here. I really... <laughs> just raise up. I should just raise up like an elephant general just to be a jerk. One elephant general should be able to stop him. I could also reinstate another army, but... Hmm. Let's see, who's the best guy? He's the best guy, so let's raise up him. New elephant general, right over here. So yeah, he's going to protect our city over here from these guys. So if they try to attack me, I don't think two units will be able to stop it. Will be able to stop a uh, elephant. I don't care how big you are, you're not gonna be able to stop it. Anyways, we're gonna be sending our ships over here to start to start kicking off these war zones. And let's see. Now that I'm back, let's see who the heck we're at war with. Cause I don't even know anymore. It's there's so many enemies around us. All right, so let's see. We have the Romans. We have the Syracuse. I don't remember when you guys became war with us, but can we have peace? Maybe I, have I mean, gain in wasting the day on you. We what have you really say? no. We have really no reason to be at war. That's what I'm kind of thinking right now. Okay, Africa. I know you guys want to have peace. Are you praying? Like this is almost. Okay, you guys are almost dead. How do you guys not want peace? Oh gosh, I hate... Gosh, this this AI system is even more frustrating than Paradox AI system. At least with Paradox AI system, they actually will give up when they know they're beaten. This AI system is just like, nope, nope, hoop a derp I'll keep fighting until all my men are dead. Well, I do admire the admirability of being stupid, of being so selfish. I'm in, this, in the face of so many odds, too, I'll give him, I'll give him that, but seriously, I wish they would, I wish they would be less stubborn. Like, honestly, I'd love to end this. So, anyways, though, uh, hmm. Our next conquest, I guess, with our bigger f army. My Lord. Once we have established ourselves and making sure that this city is underneath our control completely, is to, let's see, this, this is only a Hellenistic village, so I don't have to convert or dismantle. Convert. Public order fishing port? Really? How is this a fishing port? <laughs> Am I missing something? Oh wait, that's not the right city. Whoops. This is the, this is the right city. But Bay and Hamlet, no, I want to convert that to a Oh dang, we don't have enough money. Alright, so I'm just gonna have to stay here for a little bit. Um Grover Rosa Meta. Uh We could probably deal with that. Okay. And the turn. And this will probably be the last turn we're going to go to for today. So let's just watch as everything happens. I don't know what's going to happen, guys. <laughs> I really don't. Which is, you know, scary and fun at the same time. I mean, with Paradox, I can kind of... i played Paradox games for so long that I know what the AI strategy is generally. I mean, there'll be some times where they'll surprise me and, you know, there'll be some times I surprise them. But generally, I know what's happening. With this, I'm just kind of guessing every single day about what's going to happen, and I really hope they take that city. Like, I severely hope they take that city so that I can go in and go take it back. Because that was just, oh, yes, the way it got taken from us. Oh, gosh. Uh, but anyways, you know, this AI system in Rome Total War 2, while bad, it's still unpredictable to me because I haven't played this game for so long, and these guys are now our enemies. I now know that. I will now keep a fleet over there to make sure they are protected. Because I did not know they were our enemies. I thought they were just another bystanding nation. And the Nericumes, I'm about to destroy the Nericumes. I'm sending a big gigantic army to go deal with them. Yeah. <laughs> Love big gigantic armies. Okay, and then Tunzia is sending a force to go kill. Why does everyone always send a force to go kill me? Um, but we cannot lose the city of Alquita. It's slave revolt. What? I have slaves here? I didn't even know that. 
Okay then, I'll exempt you guys from taxes. Oh gosh, I didn't even know, like, sis, I didn't even know we had slave revolts. Yeah, just no taxes from these guys for a really long time. These guys are obviously very angry with me, and I need to kind of deal with that. So, yeah, civic, let me see, let's see, what's costing us total income, 413, well, let's see, civics, income, and then what's our most ex total upkeep, wait, what's our most expensive thing, units, figures, some of our fleets also costing us a little bit, but it's mostly units, it just means that we just have to go conquer some things before we do stuff, and holy shoot, they just, Ready for order. what the heck? What kind of army is this? Well, it doesn't seem to be that powerful, otherwise I would have sent in more soldiers, so... I'm just going to... Hmm. You know what? That's for next episode, guys! See you guys next time!